toasted marshmallow on ice cream. starting the day off in Santa Cruz. Our first stop of the day is Tea House Spa for my birthday. Joseph got me a little spa massage, so come along and see what it's like. <laughs> I think after this we're gonna get um, some smoothies or acai bowls, something light. And then we'll probably go to Pizza My Heart. And then we have to hit up our favorite ice cream spot, Penny Ice Creamery, so. guys so we just got done with our spa which was absolutely amazing we had our massages got our hot tub or sauna on it was divine loved every minute of it so now after we got our relaxation out of the way we got to start our food tour in Santa Cruz so we came to this place called Samba Rock it's an acai cafe this is our first time there so I didn't really know exactly what to customize it with so I just went with one of their own creations I got the Pele bowl it's an acai blended with banana and then there's banana on top blueberries and strawberries so pretty classic just uh, just so I didn't mess up and order the wrong thing oh and they also have granola yum all right I'm gonna take a bite mmm Very refreshing, super fresh, fruity. The acai has a really good taste to it. Acai is kind of hard to make. I tried to make it at home and it did not turn out like this. This is one's really good. Mm. All the fruit is really ripe at a good point. For an acai bowl, I would probably give this one a nine out of 10. After our spa, we wanted something like to kind of wake us up, get the day going, refresh, something light. This is perfect. Come to Samba Rock in Santa Cruz. And I got the As Mutantes. It's named after a Brazilian rock band in like the 60s, 70s. But yeah, mine is blended with banana. Got strawberries and bananas and coconut shavings. So let's get it. Ooh, I'm excited. Dang, I'm really trying to get everything on there. Hopefully you guys could see that with the sun. Big fan of coconut shavings. Hmm. I need another bite. I've only had a few acai bowls in my life and I've never really cared for them that much, but this one, this one's changing my mind about it, honestly. Well, yours is blended with pineapple, mm -hmm. so it probably has a different taste. Yeah, the, the blended pineapple and the acai just really changes everything. It's rejuvenating for sure. Yeah, exactly what we needed. Mm -hmm. Trying to hit up a few spots here while we're in Santa Cruz, because we want to show you guys what you guys should eat. So if you want something light and healthy, hit up Samba Rock in Santa Cruz. It's a really cool spot. It's on a, it's on a green building. <laughs> the building is green. The building is green. I give my As Mutantes Acai Bowl 9.5 out of 10. Big fan, big fan. Strawberries and bananas are just my favorite combo. Kind of basic for, for fruits, but all time favorite combo. Okay 
guys, so we're here at Lupolo's. It's like a Latin influenced tapas bar. Uh, we got two beef empanadas and also a chicken empanada. The beef empanadas come with a chimichurri and then the chicken empanada comes with a, like a crema. So I know the beef has raisins and olives and eggs, so it should be really good. I'm gonna start with that one first. Pretty decent size for an empanada. Gotta for sure use some of that chimichurri. Cheers. It's pretty good. Whoa. Fire? Mm -hmm. Really good seasoning on the beef. Raisins add a nice sweetness. Super rich, but like not overly rich. And that chimichurri. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you already, this is the best empanada I've ever had. Wow. I haven't had that many empanadas in my life, but... Well, you've had a few. I've had a few, but <laughs> this is the best empanada I've ever had. Rapolos in Santa Cruz. You can see the raisins, too. Mm -hmm. mm. Looks good. Yeah, I guess there's egg in here, too. And olives. Not a, olives aren't really my thing, but in here... What kind of olives? I, it's just like the normal green olives. Green looks olives? Like. I think so. They're not black olives. Okay. You're gonna really like this one, Gabby. Sweet and savory? Sweet and savory. <laughs> Sweet because of the, the raisins, like I said earlier. Even without the chimichurri, I'm sure it'd be good, but... They know how to make their chimichurri, man. Chimichurri is so good. I love chimichurri. Oh yeah, that's the way to eat it. Mm. Also a really good light meal. They just have a, a bunch of different tapas options. But I do highly recommend getting these empanadas because beef empanada, 10 out of 10. We'll see how the chicken one is. Beef empanada, 10 out of 10. Okay, chicken empanada. I don't know what's in it. I forgot what's on it. I could look it up. <laughs> I know it's shredded chicken. Great. So it's a tinga style. I don't know how to say tinga. that. Tinga style. Tinga style. What does that mean, Gabby? It's like a red sauce chicken. Red sauce chicken. Gabby is a Spanish speaker, for those of you that don't know. <laughs> so tinga style, shredded chicken, tomato, and the side of crema. I'm going to try it without the crema first. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's just the mm, Yeah, I love red. That, <laughs> that style of chicken, like how they cook it, it's really good. Mm. This one's a little spicy. Mm -hmm. So it's my jam. Cool. I'm gonna save you some of this because this yeah, is delicious. Yeah, save me a bite. Mm -hmm. so. I'll save you this half. It sounds like all they What do you rate that one? Yeah. Seem like you like the chicken more. Mm. Both empanadas are 10 out of 10. Holy. Holy, Holy cannoli. <laughs> Mother of. Mother of. <laughs> Hit up their empanadas. Just, just do it. I'm gonna let Gabby try her beef empanada before hers gets cold. Yes. Looks like Joseph really enjoyed his, so I should, I should also like it too. <laughs> we do have the same taste in food. Yeah, pretty, very similar, I'd say. All right. Oh yeah, that looks good. Big bite. Big bite. Mm. This chimichurri is so flavorful. Yeah. I really like it. Yep. Yeah. Don't eat as fast as Joseph. Hi. Mm. Everything is really, really paired well together. I love olives, so I'm glad it has olives. And then raisins with my beef is always my favorite. I love sweet and savory. The chimichurri has such a great flavor to it with the beef. <laughs> Lupolos. Is it like cheese? I don't know. That's egg. Oh, it's egg? Egg. Oh. All right, I'm um, on to the chicken. I think I like this one better than the beef one. 
because it has a little bit of spice to it. Chicken, a little bit of crema. Oh yeah. Think of chicken's like a marinated red sauce chicken. It's like shredded and it's a little bit spicy and this is exactly it. So, so good. Yeah, this one is better than beef, in my opinion. The beef, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, but the chicken is a nine out of 10. You've had better empanadas? Yeah. Where? I mean. All right, last bite of the last beef empanada. So, you know, I gotta go heavy with the chimichurri. We're gonna go a little crazy. Crema. Did I not end chimichurri? Just because it's the last bite. Because Gabby ate my chicken, so I'm eating her beef. Mm. Mm -hmm. It was good all together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Show me a better empanada. <laughs> Ice cream. We came to Penny Ice Creamery. Fun fact, Joseph and I came here for our six month anniversary and now we're back four and a half years later. Do the math on that. <laughs> but anyways, we love this place. The best thing that they have here is the toasted marshmallow topping. And oh my gosh, it's like out of this world. So delectable. We love it. Um, so I got a Tahitian vanilla scoop and then I got caramel sauce and then I got toasted marshmallow topping I have no doubt that it's gonna be delicious, but let's try it for good measure mm. Oh my gosh This is the best ice cream of all time mm. They have house made um, waffle cones and all of their flavors are in-house made too, so it does not get any better than that. Also had to get the toasted marshmallow. It's the reason why we came back here. I got chocolate chip cookie monster with the toasted marshmallow. Okay. Only ice cream shop that I know that does the toasted marshmallow. So if you guys know of any more, let us know. Chocolate chip cookie monster, must try. Mine's kind of melting, so. Well, they always switch out their flavors. Yeah, they always switch out the flavors with the seasons. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna eat this because it's melting. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here at Pizza My Heart. It's a must go here in Santa Cruz. Everybody comes here for a slice of pizza or a whole pie. We actually got a whole pizza coming up soon. We just wanted to get some slices. And a hack is you buy a shirt and you get a free slice. These shirts are only like seven bucks, so it's very worth it if you want a souvenir and a slice of pizza real quick. This one is gonna be a mushroom. We got a large extra veggie pizza that we're gonna get soon too. It's just being made still. As you all know, I love the cheese and mushroom pizza. So let's get it. Mm-hmm. Santa Cruz classic, pizza my heart. And a Coke. Perfect thin crust. Cheese is nice and gooey. And mushrooms are cooked perfectly as well. Can't go wrong with a mushroom pizza. For this one, I give it an eight out of 10. Okay, <laughs> so as Joseph said, we got some souvenirs. We're from California, but we still buy souvenirs. 
now I have a shirt, so I have to try the pizza. <laughs> Uh, I also got a mushroom because we love mushroom pizza. This one is stacked though. I know, I wanted that one. This and you one said you wanted that it's one. It's humongous. <laughs> There's also a little extra, a little artichoke extra. <laughs> so that's interesting. But anyways, let's give it a go. Mm. <laughs> you got something on your lip. There you go. I see why like everyone comes here or like makes it like oh you have to stop in to pizza my heart like it's really worth it the pizza has a nice flavor the sauce is super rich but really good and the mushrooms oh specifically the mushroom one that we got I love mushrooms and they all have a nice taste together whoa 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 pizza's so good and makes to dance <laughs> This location's in a really nice part of Santa Cruz. It's on Pacific Street in downtown Santa Cruz. There's a bunch of little small shops or they have big shops like Free People and Urban Outfitters and then they have like local shops also. So you really get a good blend of like stuff to do here and you can stop by and get a quick bite and you won't be disappointed. <laughs> the boardwalk is close by. The weather is always great in our opinion. It's on the cooler side, but that's always nice. I like, I give it also an eight out of 10. All right guys, so we're about to head home. We just wanted to make a quick outro, just recapping our day and what we did in Santa Cruz. So we had a really good start to our day. We started at the Tea House Spa, which you guys saw. It's a Japanese inspired spa. We got tea, we got a sauna, we were in a hot tub, and then we got a massage. So it was a really nice time there. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend to hit up the Tea House Spa yeah. if you're in Santa Cruz, but I know it's not really what you should eat in Santa Cruz, but we just wanted to show you guys how cool it was. And then after the Tea House Spa, we went to the Samba Rock up for acai bowls. If you want an acai bowl, hit that place up. And then we got Lupolo's right after that for some empanadas. We just wanted something quick right before we got our favorite ice cream shop ever, Penny Ice Creamery yeah. here in Santa Cruz. We love that place. Um, we have good memories there, so it's always a nice time to be able to come back and try it again mm -hmm. and then to end the day you guys saw that we had pizza my heart we actually got the whole pie right here i'm just gonna bring it home so we could share it with others and yeah that was our day in santa cruz and now we got to drive back home yeah well, we had a really good time we hope you guys enjoyed our video we hope you guys find something cool to do in santa cruz i'm sure you'll be able to there's so much cool stuff to do here so much nature and the boardwalk and the beach and food they're just a lot so enjoy your day and enjoy our video well that's the end of this video hope you enjoyed our little vlog for food and just hanging out here in santa cruz don't forget to like subscribe and put that bell notification on to get notified anytime we post mm -hmm. see you guys bye bye